Обнаружен вертолет противника. Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Play. Starting off today's episode, we're taking a look back to Battlefield 3 and Wake Island with a clip from Scream. The M416 is his weapon of choice, trying to defend these beaches from all of these attackers. This is a proper throwback. It's not really something you can do too much on Battlefield 3 these days as the servers start to dry up for these more specialist game modes and maps, but what I can say is we will certainly see a return to these hectic moments when Battlefield 5 finally releases Wake Island at some point towards the end of the year. An epic clip though, and a real nostalgic throwback from screen. Next up, a clip sent in from Encow. He's looking to defend these objectives on Damavand Peak. The enemy team is above him on the cliff face. It is going to be a difficult job trying to prevent them from getting down here. But he will do his best with this A91, destroying all of these enemy players. Get in there, use your okay. A few clips sent in from Archer starting out on Operation Metro with the 44 Magnum. This is a satisfying 5 shot, 5 kill streak. Moving on, he sent in a Noshar Canal streak with the Spaz 12. This thing is an absolute beast in close quarters and is surprisingly good at medium range as well. If you land a lucky shot, you can do a whole lot of damage. This streak goes on for around 60 seconds as he dominates the enemy team on this classic Battlefield 3 arena. And the final clip he sent in is Operation Metro. He calls this a tryhard streak with the M416. It's the sort of stuff we've become accustomed to seeing on the top players flanking around the side of the enemy players, making your way back towards Bravo objective and cleaning up anything that gets in your path. A classic flank.
Two clips sent in from Conrick. The first is with the 870 on Operation Metro. Once again, this classic backrage. Three people taken down already up towards the top of the escalators and a load of enemy players blasted away. This little camping corner here is always popular for enemy players and he gets himself a whole load of kills before sitting there himself. Another few kills on the side here as he works his way round the map, down the stairs and through the enemy front lines. A great clip this, over 2,000 points as he dominates this section of Metro. The second clip he sent in is a 1,014 meter jet snipe on Caspian border. Really long range stuff. That pilot didn't see it coming. A nice aerial view of Caspian border as well. Now for a selection of some of the finest Battlefield 4 clips that we've had sent in in recent weeks from Tascos. I seem to remember featuring a clip like this, or maybe even this clip itself, a few weeks ago. This is an LAV rendezvous, not something that you can easily make happen on Battlefield. It's one thing to get the lav to fly through the air, but then to take out a jet like that and land back in the lav is just insane. Now for a few only in Battlefield moments, unfortunately he hasn't got his audio split and he plays music in the background of these clips so I can't let them play with audio which is a massive shame because some of these are just incredible and he gets so many of them as well. Incredible stuff as he throws the grenade to blast this motocross bike across Silk Road taking out that stealth jet in the process. Quite a few like this on Silk Road, it's almost the perfect sandbox for anyone trying to get these long range anti-air clips. That Shraw shot, just insane on that enemy jet who didn't see it coming. And this, for those that didn't know, is actually called a Ronde Heli Snipe. As you jump out the side of the helicopter, snipe your target and then get back inside it before you parachute or skydive away. He actually goes on to take the enemy chopper as well just to rub salt into the wounds. We'll finish off the clips from Dascos with a classic rendezvous, again, on an unlucky scout pilot. Dexter's coming in with a 17 man with the AN-94 on Damavand Peak. Accurate gameplay once again from Dexter as he dominates a server, making all of these enemies wish they'd joined a different match. Incredible stuff, the AN-94 once again proving to be probably the best weapon in the game for those that can manage to get the bursts down. Yes, he does get a revive, and Battlefield 3 is renowned for these really fast revives, keeping the action going and keeping the streaks going as well. He puts in some revives, keeping his team in the game for destroying all of these enemy players. Next up is Dusty, Lumfini Gardens and the A70 MCS. An absolutely incredible weapon in close quarters, he goes on the perfect flank against all of these camping enemies. Next up a clip sent in from Matty Boss, he's using the M82A3 God Sniper that you pick up at the top of Charlie on the snow lane. Not exactly the best weapon if you're looking for a top play that you can really say is that great because it is a one-shot sniper. It's completely broken in a position like this, but the sheer amount of kills he gets has to warrant it as a top play. So many to start the clip off before he pushes towards the enemy players 
and really gets them killed. This is yet another clip with audio in the background that I can't use on YouTube. I have videos showing you how to set up virtual audio cables. It's really simple to do, it takes a couple of minutes. Anyone who looks to record clips and even post their own stuff on YouTube definitely should look to do it because clips with audio are so much better than clips without. This is an incredible clip though, dominating Charlie, even popping up with the odd headshot on enemy players. This thing will go through cover as well a lot of the time, meaning you can destroy players who think they're safe, but they're actually not. Two clips sent in from OP Firestorm, the first Battlefield 3 Sane Crossing at the top of one of these apartment blocks, dropping dynamite, or C4 explosive, sorry, out of the side of the window, picking up a huge multi-kill on all of these camping enemies. The second clip he sent in is a satisfying streak. Using a mixture of his primary and the M26 slug, he dismantles the enemy team within close quarters. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Remember to send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com and try your best to split the audio so we can enjoy the great clips with audio on the top plays. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.